Hey everybody, I'm on the bench for January 2010. I didn't quite make some of the Christmas deadlines I have, however, uh, being employed rather than unemployed for uh, those last two weeks was really beneficial. So uh, these are straggling on, they're definitely really close, so I expect to uh, simply extend the deadline to January 31st. And as I finish these off, I'll start picking up some Star Wars plastic, which I'll uh, talk about a little later. So, straggling the pack here is the Bird of Prey. This is going to get some extra body work uh, around the engine over there. There's a little bit to do on the arms and so on. So, uh, I'm also going to use this to practice some airbrushing, get some panel line practice on this for when I move over to this guy here. The A-Wing is uh, pretty much fully primered and the body is ready, so I'm going to factory colors next and then uh, weathering after that. I was hoping to get this under the 2009 wire regardless, however it's just uh, really, really close. So uh, this one leads the pack as far as being close to completion. Well, then there's this guy here, the small EVA pod. All that needs is some uh, black paint and uh, that's that. I got to integrate the electronics into the wall plaque which is over there and uh, speaking of wall plaques this one is getting ready to uh, get set up with this one here so this will get a little body work and uh, basically that will involve some thousand grit sandpaper just uh, with some spot applications here and there then that goes for its final black and uh, some gloss white and it's done the Cylon is also pretty close to done this will get some airbrushing coming up so this is just the basic color that I'm going to build off of and all further work is going to be done with the airbrush exclusively coming down here to the US satellite from 2001 I didn't quite get everything that I wanted to uh, get done on this however it's the sort of model that you can put it down and pick it back up and add or subtract whatever you need on the fly. So uh, it's a really simple paint job overall and maybe I'll improve those over time as well. But next up for this is getting some black airbrushing all along the panel lines to uh, stand them out. Then the whole body will get a very light uh, black coating followed by its final factory colors and masking some panel lines from there. The uh, Star Destroyer over here is also pretty close. Essentially, it's done, but uh, I'm going to do some very light uh, paint work to lessen the contrast between those dark grays and the white that the body should be. But overall, that's definitely looking good for uh, how it turned out, and it took about two years at least to do it, so I'm glad to finally have that done. And over here, this X-Wing snuck in under the uh, New Year's deadline from out of nowhere thanks for that mom Merry Christmas and uh, yeah so I didn't quite get as many models finished this year as I'd wanted but I got some really quality work done as well and then the only other thing I'll mention here is the Falcon which is next due up to get fiber and LEDs in the top of the hull and along the side walls so I may pick that up soon as uh, I'm waiting for paint to dry on all the other models and then in the spring, as I mentioned, I'm going to get into some Star Wars plastic. So that's going to involve a pair of Astromex, a protocol droid, speeder bike, a uh, full-size 148, 135th uh, X-Wing. And then the main bulk of the work is going to be a squadron of four snow speeders. However, there's also a pair of two plastic TIE fighters that are going to get in the mix. And, of course, there's the resin TIE Fighters, too, the studio scales. So uh, I've got some pretty good ideas on how I'm going to approach doing a lot of wings for them. And uh, those will get kicking soon. So I'm thinking that's pretty much it for now. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.